Hi my loves, welcome or welcome back to yet another video. If you are new on this channel, and if you are a returning sabi, thank you so much for popping back by. So today's video is going to be very short, straight to the point. I've been receiving quite a few emails lately and DMs specifically on Instagram regarding applications not being responded to or just you know like having a slow uh, or a slight delay in application so I'm just here to share with you guys some of the agencies or platforms where you can find teaching jobs in Taiwan the list that I'm going to mention in this video is not in any particular order and i am not going to mention all the agencies or all the platforms because i can still do that in another video and also remember you guys you don't want to be someone who's confused and not sure what to do next so if you are in the process of applying to come teach in taiwan please do continue watching or if you are already here in taiwan and you want to switch uh ships maybe you want to drop your school to another school or you don't want to renew your contract or maybe you just want to try something different but you're already here in taiwan then i think this video might also help you especially when it comes to where you can find different kinds of teaching jobs um, on different kinds of platforms so I'm going to start with first the agencies and there are other agencies that I did not mention in this video mainly because I I'm not going to lie I slightly forgot like the names especially because um, it's been a while since I did my applications so there's a lot of agencies actually but there are popular ones or agencies that are quite common amongst people who apply to come teach in Taiwan so let's start with the first one the first agency that you can apply through is called Phoenix Group Asia Phoenix Group Asia pretty much places you in either a government school or public school or they can they can also place you at a private school or a creme school so it depends on your qualifications it depends on the country that you are coming from your fluency a lot of matters or a lot of factors rather do influence your application the next agency is called PD which is the premier international um, PD is quite new and with the PD program it also works similar to the Phoenix group program it places you mostly at government schools and another one that is in correlation to the other two that I've already mentioned is Teach Taiwan. So Teach Taiwan is quite popular here in Taiwan. Um, a lot of people that come to Taiwan the first time they go through Teach Taiwan. I've also worked with Teach Taiwan and had no problems. But remember, whichever agency that you choose to apply with, it'll come with a different contract and the school will serve you a different contract so we might all be working in Taiwan but the things and the conditions of our contracts are not always going to be the same so that's another agency that you might consider and then the other one is read so this one I know it mainly places people in Taipei I'm not really sure if it places people all around Taiwan but I do know that they dominate mostly in Taipei it's the read program I'm just going to leave all the names on the screen so that you guys can screenshot or you can you know apply through these different agencies now let's look at different websites that can actually help you in getting a job here in Taiwan. The first website is quite a popular website because I've also used it and I did actually get a job. My first application that I made abroad, I used this website and I did get a job but it was in China and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to China. So the name is Teach Away. So Teach Away is quite popular as well. Um, they do offer teaching jobs abroad and they do also have 
teaching jobs in Taiwan. Then we also have Dave's ESL Cafe. So Dave's ESL Cafe, they do offer jobs, teaching jobs in Taiwan. I'm not sure about other countries, but my main focus is just Taiwan, specifically on this video. And then another website is called Tealits, like is in T E A L I T dot com tillits.com so they mainly share teaching jobs at private schools or cram schools around taiwan and also schools tend to post in those websites directly so you will be able to to post so you you could be able to apply directly to the school instead of applying via a, an agency and then the next one is tis I hope I'm pronouncing it pr properly or correctly. Remember, I'm just going to put all the names on the screen. This one is called test.co. And then we have Go Overseas, which is also a popular platform or website that you can use to find teaching jobs in Taiwan. And another one is the Epic program. So the Epic program, I know they also like offer jobs in South Korea and i'm not sure if they do offer jobs as well in japan but those are other websites that you can look into and then i know also you can find jobs using facebook pages so i do recommend that you try facebook pages if you do want to maybe change your job your current job eventually when your contract ends or if you're still applying to come teach in taiwan so for Facebook, you can just search teaching jobs in Taiwan or teaching in Taiwan and then different Facebook pages will pop up and then you can choose which one you think posts a lot or which one you think they do post jobs that you are quite interested in looking into but also there's a lot of factors that might contribute into you not getting responses from agencies it could be maybe how you put together your cv maybe it's not straight clear to the point or also it could be that you do not actually qualify another reason could be the fact that maybe they do not have any available positions at the moment so applying takes time you need to be very patient you need to also do not be someone who's going to be pushy because when you start being like too pushy they are going to pull back they won't want to help you because they'll feel like you are going to be someone who's going to be very demanding or very needy or too dependent so i know applying for jobs is quite stressful and it can be demanding like emotionally uh physically you know like it makes you feel drained and the interview process as well as the entire process till the point where you actually get used to working because even when you get to job to work even when you get the job when you start working you still have provision so you still have a lot to do before you finally reach a point where you can say okay now you can rest but also remember when you start teaching here in Taiwan after a specific period of time we do have like evaluations or observations we do have things that are always going to keep you on your toes so it's never really a point of okay now i can relax but also it's just a point of being more comfortable more confident with whatever that you are doing in your job whether it is you teaching grammar phonics whether it's you basically teaching bilingual classes or just doing remedial so i hope this video was very helpful and i will be back i will be back with another video soon i am going to incorporate a lot of sit down videos because i feel like there's new people on my channel and information changes quite often so 
I don't want to leave anyone behind, but at the same time, I'm not going to keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. But I do hope that you guys are really going to find this video helpful. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.